10 4 Strasburg, respond code 4 to northwest 5 24 21 west of the second. Responding for a conscious alert, approximately 45 year old male entrapped in a baler. Strasburg fire also en route. It was going to be my last bail of the day. Bailing hay along uh, just a mile north of my yard here along in the road allowance ditch. It was about 10 or 10.30 that night and the indicator warned that the baler needles are going to start tying. Left the baler running and then went back to the baler and uh, crawled up on the hitch and that on that baler and grabbed the twine and well it was dark I had the lights on but there was a hay build up where I put my right hand just to steady myself and then when I put my right hand down there like the hay there it slid down with my hand and then took the hay and my hand and arm into the baler. My phone was up in the tractor cab and I couldn't uh, contact anyone and I live alone at home so no one would no one missed me at all so so I did try yelling the closest yard in one direction is probably well oh I guess about a mile or a little over a mile away and another direction is maybe a mile and a half so and with the tractor idling I holler, but no one would probably hear me. But I tried. As the night went on, I had enough to eat or drink since supper time, and I'm, being I'm diabetic too, I didn't uh, have my evening insulin at 10:30 that night. And then, like I was thirsty when, when I was trapped that night. And it was it rained that night too. There was a bit of a shower, so I, with the palm of my hand, I went on the metal of the baler frame and just got my palm wet and licked my palm just to get a little bit of moisture in my mouth fell asleep briefly, but I really couldn't fall asleep because, like I said, my legs were standing on the hitch of the baler with the PTO shaft running between it. So if, if I would have fallen asleep, there were, like, my feet probably would have slipped and got caught in that rotating shaft. And then, then well, I'd have been in, in worse shape than I, what I was at that time. Because I remember the sun coming up in the morning. All of a sudden I looked and there's a vehicle coming from the north and here was my cousin my cousin stopped the tractor and then I, I told him to bring my phone back to me to phone 911. When the ambulance got there, they rigged up a sort of a sling or support there to take the weight off of me or free up my legs and have a little bit of comfort until they got me out of the baler, checked my vitals and then they put me on an IV right away there too. And then by that time the firefighters had arrived or, and they, they took part of the baler apart and then uh, I lifted the back end, the tailgate of the baler, to let the bale out. When they got me to the general hospital and into the emergency room, nurses and doctors come in there and said, uh, we won't be able to save your arm, we're gonna have to amputate. That's where, boy, uh, that probably was the most traumatizing, more so than even uh, being caught in the baler, when you hear that you're gonna do the amputation, you know, life will never ever be the same again. Some of the nurse asked me when I was in the general, if I actually wanted somebody from Task Abilities or Farmer's Disability to come see me, I said, yeah, sure. So anyway, when I was in Wascana, his name's Bob Barnaski, he come to see me and he lost both his arms, not in a farming accident, but it was uh, a tr trucking accident. Yeah, it made a big difference to talk to someone that actually went through something similar to what, what I went through. Well, being I was right-handed, so I had to learn to do everything left-handed, like learn to, re to write and everything. Like I've made, made no modifications to the tractors or the equipment or, or a combine or anything like that, but I know Sask Abilities did give me a book and there's a CD too about all uh, farmer designed modifications and uh, uh, like that are actually pretty informative. Like when you look through the book of all uh, the ideas that some of the farmers have come up with, they're pretty, the ingenuity is pretty good for what they thought of.
now when I like working with wrenches or trying to grease something is some stuff is almost almost impossible to do now or if I do it do it it takes way way longer than it used to. You always think there's nobody worse off than yourself but when you see like Bob how he manages with no arms and that and what he can accomplish and do like I said if there's a will there's a way.